Hi everybody, welcome back to Soul Like Dotty. This is Friday of Souls, carded on a Thursday. Um, it might be a bit later going out. I apologise if it's later than normal. Um, what have I got to share with you this week? So I've got my latest Tilly and the Buttons Indigo dress on, um, which is this pattern here. Lots of you are very familiar with that. Um, in the paper copy I've had for a few years, it goes from a UK size six which is a 38 inch bust 24 waist and a 33 inch hip and um, up to to leave the button size 10 which is a uk 24 which is a bust of 148 waist 42 and hips 51 that's all in inches obviously um there are extended size ranges so this might have changed for the paper but sometimes i'm on to these patterns that it's um available online as a pdf download and um, so i've reverted back to the original size i made in this which is a six um let me just say that's a bust of a, a 40 but let me just have a look for the finished garment so the finished garment measurement for the bust of a this size is a 42 and a half and i'm 48 42 so it fits so i will drop a full length picture in shortly and um, just to give you a quick close-up so this is the ted baker dead stock fabric that i shared a little a few weeks ago i got from first for fabrics not sure if they've got any in still but there's always links in the description boxes to patterns and fabrics that i've used if you do want to check that out and um, really easy made you'll see on the picture that i've done the skirt um in three tiers originally i was going to do four but i only needed three and um, just with the distance that i'd cut out in them i'm just looking for the line drawings to show sure, yeah um so this would be the normal dress. I usually would do this with a smaller ruffle on the bottom to make it like a maxi length, but um, I did this tier shorter. I maybe did about 10 inches and then and each one 10 inches. So it's not, it's maybe about six inches off mega maxi length, which is absolutely fine. Um, I've shared with you all recently that I've been altering some of, of the indigo dresses because I've got, well, this must be number 14. Um, but at the moment I've gone back to the size that I need. I think I ran the waist in slightly before I attached the skirt. Um, I've just done this length of sleeve because I thought it was quite pretty, but I did put like just a tiny little cuff around the, the bottom rather than elastic. I like the feel of that better than having elastic. I did, I've talked recently about maybe having a look at doing a hack of this so that I can use. There is an add-on pack for this, which has a button placard, placard at the back. Um, I'm thinking I may do that and that might be allow, allow me to sort of make it slightly more fitted as time goes on and I continue to lose weight. Obviously, I can downsize, um, but I am looking for things that are more fitted for my shape. But I'm really pleased with it. It's lovely. Um, what I did the baby shower that I went to last week and had a lovely time. So, yeah, in terms of makes, um, I've also made a pattern test this week. Um, Jane shared this on Instagram, so it's not a secret that the um, the dolly top is Jane from the Dressmaker's Closet's newest pattern, which is going to be released very soon. So we're in pattern testing phase with Jane um, for the brand ambassadors. So this pattern is gifted to me and... Um, the fabric is gifted to me by Minerva. So I've done a twirl of that in this blue fabric just here, but I'm not going to show you it completely yet. I've got another twirl cut out of it. Um, Jane's just asked us to play with some of the dimensions and things. Um, and Jane is moving into a, a broader size bracket in this. So we, there's lots of testing out to do as well, which I know is great news. Um, lots of you will be really pleased about that. I don't want to give too much away because that's Jane's used to share um, and obviously once we're through the pattern testing um, and that's all updated it'll be released so i've got another one cut out in visco chalice because this is a cotton poplin and i think that twirl might get changed into a dress in the cotton poplin so i'll be able to share that with you at some point and then i've got one cut out in visco chalice with some new alterations to the testing and then i've got the i don't know if you can see it here Sorry about that. I've got this navy viscose chalice gifted to me from Minerva to cut out once once I'm happy and Jane's happy um, with the, the final version. So that's that's what I've made this week, really. I've had a bit of a quiet week on the makes front. 
um well that's that's pretty reasonable isn't it finished this dress and done that my denim jacket is work in progress you'll be sick of me talking about it it's out to finish over the weekend that is my plan and it's um a stitch in time which is mags and dawn's sewing group which is at tesco at kingston park if you want information drop me a, a message and i can give you that so that's in newcastle it's a non-profit five pound sunday morning um, and the money just covers the public liability that they need and um, the booking system that they use and the fees for that and the payment and any extra just goes into buying things like they're looking at ironing boards and cutting mats and things like that um, yeah, and Tesco's even give us uh, free coffee how nice is that? or tea so I'm there on Sunday morning and um, that's quarter to ten till quarter to one once a month on a Sunday so um, other than that I've had to do a bit of a um reassessment of my wardrobe because everything's too big well not everything but a lot of stuff is too big and at the moment as you know I'm focused on having a holiday wardrobe ready and that's what I'm focusing on so what I've done is removed stuff from my wardrobe and put it into like a big Ikea zip-up bag well it's not that big that might be an exaggeration Um, I've probably took about 10 things out of my wardrobe particularly dresses that need either altering making smaller or making into something else or repurposing probably might do a little bit of that before i go away but not loads i've got a few shirt dresses i've got enough but i need to kind of see exactly what i do need to make so that's my plan sunday monday of this weekend to get cracking put the elastic into some of the swimsuits that i've made finish the denim jacket and i'm going to be honest it's really dark denim and because of the, a lot of the stuff that I'm taking on holiday is very light, like pinks and whites, I am getting sort of, it's been washed a couple of times, but I am getting that um, deposit on my hands of the colour. So I'm a little bit worried that if I'm wearing this, um, particularly if it's like humid as well on holiday and kind of got my arms down with it over a dress or a skirt, that there might be some colour transfer um, to the lighter clothes so although I do want to get this finished I'm going to be honest I've ordered a, a very light one from um, Roman in the UK now it was on offer and there was a discount and I think I got it for about 20 quid they have loads of different colours and I just said to Carl as much as I want to make a lighter one I had this light denim I've got I had enough of it to make a jacket and I've got three meters on the shelf and I got a dye, I'll pop a picture in of the dye on dye, which I use a lot of. And I put this in, and as you can see, it was to, supposed to go to a light pink. No difference. And I just thought, by the time I buy another dye, and faff on and do that, um, I'm going to have spent just as much as if I could have bought that jacket. And although I do like to be fully me made, sometimes it's just got to make sense, I think. So, yeah. And then and I saw this dry and then went, well, you could make me a denim skirt out of it. Thank you very much. I said after me holiday. Maybe. So, yeah, not really been up to very much this week. That could be the shortest vlog ever, couldn't it? But I am very interested, as always, to hear what you're up to. So please drop me some messages and um, chat away. And um, I haven't forgotten that I am going to do two vlogs that I've promised. One is about pattern hacking. And the other one is, well, that's a bit of pattern hacking as well, a dress that I recently bought that I want to take a pattern off. Um, that one's going to definitely probably happen within the next couple of weeks. So I will be back with you next Friday for Friday Souls, unless I do that in the meantime. So bye for now.